Okay, everybody, let's take a look at the stock market and see what happened today. Well, a pretty big day today, looking at the E-mini S&P 500 futures. These are the December 2021 contracts. The E-mini or ES, if you want to trade the E-micro, which I trade those. I actually traded those today. Made a few hundred bucks. Nice day. That'd be forward slash MES. Um, let's take a look here what's going on on the daily chart. Remember, we're looking at the daily chart here. All-time highs about four days ago was 47.11 and 75. Okay. We've got two solid red days. <clears throat> okay. And you can see back here that we started getting the red diversion signals. Oh, oh, go away. All right. Calm down. Starting in the red diversion signals right here on the Big Daddy forecast, as well as the SMI a few days ago. You know, just goes to show you guys the logic behind this, the Big Daddy that I put for the divergence and the logic behind the SMI, the Stochastic Momentum Index. That logic is working really well, right? It's picking out divergences and forecasting, yes, forecasting and predicting ahead of time, okay, that we were going to have a pullback. Sure enough, it happened. I've been talking about it for three or four days, and bingo, here we are. Okay, the MACD looks like it's rolling over pretty good. Okay, you can see amplitude percent was red hot a few days ago, and now it's cooled off a little bit, 3.18. Amplitude percent, for those that want to know what I'm talking about, simply the distance from the bottom of the candlestick back to the 50, in this case, 50-day moving average. Okay, really nice. Really, really nice. Looks like uh, the Big Daddy's suggesting, yeah, another day or two. You know, and then maybe we see a bounce. The SMI is showing lots of room to the downside. MACD, of course, starting to close in on itself, may turn over. Keep an eye on that as well. Well above the zero line on the MACD. So long term, guys and gals, this eventually will come back down. When? Okay, we'll, we'll continue to look at that. But it will make its way back down to this zero. But it doesn't always happen right away. Look back here. And it just flatlined and kind of stayed this way for a long time, right? So, but it will make its way back down there eventually. It might take a few oscillations, right? And then start working its way down. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay. I think short term, there's another day or two for, you know, a bounce. Let's see. Today is what? If I remember right, today is Wednesday. Got a lot going on. Sorry. Don't always know exactly what day it is, right? Yep. Today is Wednesday. The market, the futures market closed about uh, 20 minutes ago. Okay, so we got Thursday and Friday left on uh, for this week. Okay, I think there's definitely another day based on what I'm looking at here. But lots of weakness. Oh my goodness. Okay, lots of weakness there. You know, I talked about this yesterday. I don't really pay attention to those, those dots coming out of lows like this because those are often false flags when we first come out of those lows. So I won't pay attention too much of these dots right here just as we come out of these lows, okay? But, you know, historically as I look back, it isn't too often that we get a red dot coming out of the lows. But, you know, it does happen occasionally. It happened right there, okay? But it didn't happen over here, obviously. It didn't happen over here, right? It happens occasionally. But usually when it happens, I'm looking at this one way back here right now, Usually when that happens, we get a price decline. Okay. So, you know, my instincts tell me just looking at history and looking at the way that the pricing action works and the way the logic that I put in behind the Big Daddy and the SMI are working here for divergence. I'm looking, it looks like to me that this dot is legit. Okay. It's not a false flag. It looks legit to me. Okay. So on the weekly time frame, I think there's a little bit to give up here. Okay. We're going to have to see what the SMI does, you know. Does it just do a little blip like that and go back up? Which we know we saw a lot of that over here. Okay. Does it do one of these and come down all the way down? Okay. Because look, here's the quad witching, you know, which we had a well, 5 or 6% pullback. And even it didn't come down and touch the bottom on the weekly chart for the SMI, right? It came up short of that. And so did the Big Daddy. They both came up short of their bottom line. So we may not get this coming all the way down like that, right? It may just come down somewhere in the middle here and kind of stop. Well, those are the things we're going to want to pay attention to. But I do think we're going to get a decline here, uh, at least for the rest of this week, okay? And maybe even going into next week. 
So that's a weekly time frame, right? Okay, let's take a look at the take a look at the monthly, which is a longer time frame. You know, the monthly here, my goodness, look at the look at the amplitude percent, guys. All 29.68, almost 29.7. Okay, that is just massive distance away from the 50 month moving average. Okay. I always like to take, to take a look at this long term. Okay. There's, there was a few times it was higher. I think it was back here. Got up into the 36 area, if I remember right. Just kind of looking here on the fly, guys and gals. 22. Okay. There was a 29. I think there was a few times back in here. Got up into 36. Yeah, 33 there back in June of 1998. Okay. I thought I saw. Yeah, there's a 36. All the way back in April of 1998. So it has been higher, but not very, not very often throughout the history. Okay, so there's only been a few times it was higher, and that was way back here, guys and gals, in the, you know, the in the 1998. Okay, that's like the only time I've seen throughout the history of the S&P 500 that the amplitude percent's been higher than what it is right now. Okay, so this distance from here to here on the monthly chart has only been higher really one other time in history, and that's been back in the 1998s. Okay, 1998 area. Okay, so that's something you definitely want to keep in mind on a uh, long term on the monthly chart. This is getting this is getting what we call epic. This is getting epic, guys and gals. Okay, and you know we do have some three and four month divergence signals going on here. You know, you know I really wouldn't call this dip right here like we came out of a low. It was one month. I mean, I don't know if I can really qualify that as a low. It isn't like this. That's that's you know that's a low, right? At least this is a little bit of a low. This this is some kind of low, you know. We can acknowledge that. But this one month, eh, not really sure that qualifies as a low, you know. It was the, it was the, it was the September October quad witching, and uh, it came and went, you know. I mean, not that five or six percent is not a big deal, because that's that's a big deal. A lot of money was made during that that uh, quad witching time, okay. But you know, just from a perspective of you know um, divergence. You know, I'm I'm thinking these dots are legit, right? What I'm the point I'm trying to make here is that I don't think those qualify as false signals. Okay, I'm really familiar with this logic and how the dots form and when they show up. Okay, so th I think these three and four month divergent signals are legit, guys and gals, especially considering the amplitude back to the 50 month. Okay, I don't think there's a whole lot left in this thing. Yes, it could, it could go up to the 5,000. You know, it could definitely do that. There could be more room in this, you know, we might see like some little dippy kind of thing and then one last little hurrah and then we get the big pullback. Okay, I don't know. But bear in mind, guys, that the 50-month moving average always gets revisited. <laughs> it always happens. Every single time. It will revisit this 50-month moving average. It's going to happen. And right now, though, the 50-month is rising, so we, you know, just keep that in mind. It's rising. But at the moment, it's 3,200. So the distance between this 50-month moving average and where we're at today, it will close. The question, does it start closing now? Does it do a little bump and come up and then close later? You know, take your pick. This thing is going to come back. And it will visit this 50-month moving average at some point. Okay. We are not going to stay in nosebleed section of the bleachers forever, guys and gals. It is not going to happen. And I don't think we're going to see like, oh, the 50 is going to go vertical and then we'll meet it way up here. Eh, you know, that's hopeful thinking, okay? Don't bank on that. Okay, this thing's going to pull back. We just got to get the timing right, okay? Between now and then, you know, obviously going to pay very close attention, okay? One last look, guys and gals, as I get ready to finish up this video uh, on the daily Okay, to me, guys and gals, the daily's got room to go. Not saying it's going to pull back all the way to the 50-day moving average. You know, that's you know probably being a little optimistic, but I do think we're going to get a, I do think we're going to get another day or two at least this week. Could get big, guys. Could be could get big. I mean, we did get some really hot, really hot divergent signals here. I mean, those red divergent signals, man, guys and gals, let me tell you something. These red divergent signals and logic behind this, they absolutely nailed this. Okay, nobody can dispute that this logic and the big daddy, the big number, which I think was what? 
was a fairly big number. They were 435 a few days ago. And the divergence dots, they did the job, guys. They told us this was coming. Okay, the logic is working, working really well. Back here it worked. Okay, a little bit. The divergence dot right there, that worked. Okay, we started getting big divergent signals before quad witching. That worked. Oh my goodness, did it ever work. Okay, the SMI is seriously elevated, okay? All right, before I finish up this video, guys and gals, take a look at the screen, the membership splash screen in front of you, guys and gals. Okay, this is for members only. This is where you're going to get one or two um, videos, trade videos per month, educational videos only, guys. We're talking paper trades. What you do with it is your business. I do not get financial advice, okay? But take advantage of the $5.95 a month price while you can. It's a really good deal. You're going to make that money back on one trade, guys, okay? So you're going to put out a video, one or two, probably, I've already put out more than that, so you're going to get probably more than that, but bare minimum, one or two videos per month of really good trade opportunities, okay? So take advantage of the price while you can, because this price probably going to go up as more members piled in. I just put out the subscription, member premium membership, two years, two days ago, and a lot of people have already piled in, okay? So this thing is just going to continue to grow. All right, if you want to take advantage of this type of logic, guys, that, that I know is working, okay, and premium membership only, guys and gals, are going to get the uh, those videos about those trade opportunities, so take advantage of it now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys and gals. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that little bell so you get notified of all the videos I put them out. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.